the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 150, Psalms 79 to 85. Light from God's face, desiring to live in the tabernacle where God was present, the psalmist sang that one day in the Lord's palace was better than a thousand days elsewhere. First point, in Psalm 80, Asap referred to three important images. Psalm 80 is estimated to have been written by Asap during the time when North Israel was collapsing. The psalmist prays to God using three important images. They were a shepherd and a lamb, a king and the people, and the farmer and the vineyard. Asap wanted to appeal to God that God and the Israelites could not be separated by using these three images. He asks God not to hide his face in circumstances of distress. As such, the psalmist prayed to God three times to show his face, and this was because he was so earnest for salvation. In fact, God had systematized the Israelites to live with God's blessing. Thus, God gave them the covenant of a kingdom of priests as well as promising them that God will show His grace when they asked. As we cannot imagine sheep without their shepherd or a vineyard without the farmer, it is difficult to imagine a people without their king. When we ask God to show His face, He will do so to provide us with salvation. A second point, Asa praised God and sang that they would blow the horns during the festivals. In Psalm 81, Asa praises God for bringing the Israelites out from Egypt. I removed the burden from their shoulders. Their hands were set free from the basket. Asap wrote that the Israelites would no longer neglect or forget God and remember Him and also keep the three annual festivals. This psalm was a reminder of the three festivals as well as remembering the time God was with them all throughout their desert life. The psalmist claims that seeking God and listening to His laws gives us strength. He also confesses that those who do not listen to God's laws or keep his festivals should be punished. God wanted the people to always live as holy citizens in the kingdom of priests and remember what he did for them. Hence, God told the people to remember their covenant. God promised that if they remembered this covenant, he would bless their children and fill their lives with his grace. Third point, Asap sang for all people to come to know God, the Creator. Psalm 84 is estimated to have been written by Asap during the reign of King Jehoshaphat. And when South Judah was being attacked by Edom and other countries, God is not only the king of the Israelites, but king of the entire world. And so the psalmist sang that he wished for the world to know and praise God. The Old Testament is recorded focusing on the history of the Israelites. But through the book of the prophets, we can understand that God's focus has always been on the whole world. The psalmist therefore understood that the surrounding countries were not just enemies. The psalmist tried to pray from God's perspective. Fourth point, the psalmist sang that it is better to be in God's presence for one day than a thousand days elsewhere. 
Psalm 84 was written by the descendant of Korah, and here the psalmist turns to God and refers to a palace. This referred to God's presence. Among the Psalms, Psalm 84 is used the most for song. It contains the heart of adoring God's temple. The psalmist sings of a blessed life. He says that one who looks to God and centers his life on where God's presence resides has a blessed life. If one loves God, then they cannot help loving the temple. The psalmist, therefore, sings of his deep adoration for the temple. In Psalms 42 and 43, the psalmist uses the metaphor of a deer looking for the stream to express his yearning for God. The psalmist in Psalm 84 also deeply yearns for God. The yearning was so sincere that he was out of energy. The psalmist sang that it is better to be in God's presence for one day than a thousand days elsewhere. This applies to us, we are the happiest when we stand in God's presence. Fifth point, the psalmist sang for the captives to be able to return through God's grace. It is assumed that Psalm 85 was written by the descendant of Korah after the first group of captives returned from Babylon. The psalmist asks God to stop his fury and then remembers the days God blessed Israel. He prays to God for God's salvation and blessing once again. The psalmist expresses his deep love for God. He expresses his love for God who allowed the captives to return from Babylon. It was not Israel who loved God, but God who loved Israel. And so, if the Israelites were able to keep their hearts facing God, then they would be able to keep their peace. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.